Strange already I have turned off the MCB over here. Four, five, you six. Seven. Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt Electronics and this is your friend Sakib and in today's technical session we are going to learn about how to convert a traditional switch board into a wireless. So this is a traditional switch board over here and we are going to convert this into the wireless RF module over here. So this is a kit which I have uh, ordered online. And uh, from where I have ordered that link I'm going to place into the description box so you can click and you can order itself so today we I will be giving you all the practical demonstration how we are going to install it okay so if I open this box uh, let us see so in this box you can find a kit over here okay so this is the module which we required along with this we have got what remote control remote control holder over here one battery and this battery especially of 12 volt 30 23 ampere over here so it, it will give you a long backup over here and this is the module over here this is the rf module so it is totally rf uh, protocol control system over here which has got one uh, phase and neutral input just uh, like i have shown in the diagram so here but it is a phase and neutral and you can connect a six different load and as per the instruction given on this each load we can uh, put a load about maximum one th one thousand watt over here but it is my recommendation that uh, don't uh, use uh, up to the 1000 watt over here always uh, put a less up to 500 to 600 watt that's it even they have recommended please go for the lower wattage uh, up to the recommended so we can place a six load over here maybe fan tube light zero bulb or anything extra which you want to control over here and again one neutral is there and with the help of a remote control we are going to control so you can see here six different switches there master on and master off like this it is there okay so uh, this uh, uh, sensor we are going to implement into this traditional switch so the traditional switch is also going to remain on and even you can operate through the remote control over here you can see the dummy over here here we are going to install uh, this uh, all the module inside this okay and if you don't have a space over here you can just keep this module outside and you can just uh, uh, place a wire inside so without wasting uh, wasting the time we'll see how the practically we can implement it okay okay so here i have got a purposely we have kept some place where we can keep a module over here if this place is uh, not available, you can keep a module outside this. Okay. Okay, you can see here, we are going to place this module here inside. Okay, if you don't have this space, you can just place a module outside your box and you have to just uh, connect the wire inside over here. So this is the best way you can fit over here. And if you don't want this module to be visible to all, you can just place it inside. Okay, uh, so here what you have to do as this is a six channel, okay, module. So there are n number of switch, uh, you have to select which switch you, you need to control. Okay, you have to just mark that switch and for that particular switch you are going to connect this wire so, so that we can control this. Okay, uh, so these are the six switch where we are going to connect the sensor. So I have identified the which switch are supposed to be controlled over here. So these are the six switch which we are going to control. So let us open this. Uh, so for the precaution purpose, uh, whatever the main connection to this board, you have to cut off it. So you can make a MCB off and for your, if you are not professional, make it off and then you try to implement this everything for your protection purpose. Uh, try to use a gloves tester for your personal safety. Ok, 
Okay, so my dear friend, this is a board over here, and <coughs> this is the phase connection over here, which we have got this phase connection over here, and this is the point connection. Okay, so we are going to place an extra wire of this sensor. Suppose if you want to control this one, two, three, four, five switch, so this should be connected over here. One, two, three, four, five. and the main phase neutral should be given to this okay so this is how you are going to control and just turn on the remote uh, switch over here okay now what we are going to do we are going to place some extra wire from here uh, to the down side in the box over here and then we are going to connect this okay so my dear friends already i have turned off the mcb over here so there is a no current over here so you have to take this precautions okay now we we have identified the switch which we are supposed to control so there are six switch 1 2 3 4 5 six because we are going to use a six channel socket so i required a switch six wire 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is going to extend and one phase and neutral for the main so you can see here there are six different 1 2 3 4 Five, six. These are the six channel which we are going to control, and one phase and one neutral. Okay. So I will just show you how we can connect this over here. So this first switch is over here. Okay. So we have to control this. So this is a uh, your traditional method which are connected. Okay. So just remove this. Okay, this is the switch over here. Just you have to add this extra wire to this. We do pause the thread. So we have to attach this over here. You just add this wire over here. Okay, and you have to again reconnect this. so this is the one channel which we are going to con uh, going to connect over here okay so it is going to get connected over here okay so like this we required a six channel over here so this was the one second is here this one is the second channel which we are going to con connect so this is the wire ha bolo kya kare tune bolo bhai okay so two then third this we have to control so these are the six connections which we are supposed to control 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is one phase and one neutral so as i told you already so these are the six channel 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these six wires are supposed to be connected over here one phase and neutral and your system will be turning on over okay so i'll just show you now we can just close all this As I told you, I have taken here the separate box over here. If this is not available with your side, you can place this module outside. Okay, so you can see here from this switchboard, we have taken this all six connection, and one is phase, and another is a neutral over here. Now we are supposed to connect all this switch uh, six pin channel to this over here. So one by one, we can just connect it. Just remove this. Take the first channel over here. remove this pin you have to tie this properly you take a precaution over here it should not loose over here the most important take a insulation tape
okay so like this this way you have to connect all the six connections over here light on the noise no. so you can see here whatever the six connections which we have done over here i've connected to the six channel over here followed by one neutral and the phase the phase uh, i have given through the switch over here so it will be act like a master switch if you want to keep this device off you can just control this over here so that is the only reason otherwise you can just bypass this switch you can give it directly and when you turn on all the six switch which we have identified it is going to be working on the remote control so this is the remote control this is the antenna for the radio frequency rf okay so it is going to work so let me turn on and then we'll uh, identify whether it is working or not yeah okay friends so you can see here uh, this is the master switch i'll turn on this okay so this is already on over here so now we'll see we'll test one by one okay so this is you can see here i can make it on off of individually so this is 3 4 5 u 6 i've turned on so this is a master off we can turn off each and every light automatically we can turn on at a time or if you want to control it individually you can do this so this is very simple how i converted my uh, traditional switch into a rf switch it has got a range of 20 meters more than 20 meters over here and as I told you, this is already available online over here. I'm going to give this link in the description so that you can click and you can buy for yourself and you can convert your traditional switch into a wireless switch over here. So it is very handy. Within a hundred, uh, within a five to six hundred rupees, you can convert this into a wireless instead of going to buy that costly five thousand, eight thousand rupees switchboard wireless. You can just convert at your home itself. So for more technical video like this, please subscribe to Hunt Electronics. Thank you.